let's get right to it. We'll tune in with the Adi Mantra. Um, if you don't know these mantras, just hum along, sort of feel their vibratory space, and then we will move on to a bit of breath work and then some just inner stillness and a little bit of mantra. We'll keep it very simple today. So bring your palms together and rub them briskly. Close your eyes. Press the base of your thumbs against your heart center. Take a deep inhale through the nose and just take a few breaths. Just notice the depth of your breath. Notice if you're using your diaphragm as you inhale, is your belly expanding and is it contracting as you exhale? Can you feel your rib, ca rib cage lifting as you inhale and expanding and just shrinking as you exhale? Just notice your breath. Don't force anything yet. <laughs> Eyes are closed. The first mantra is Ong, O-N-G, Namo, Guru, Dev, Namo. And it is a way to just connect us to the sort of universal teacher. Inhale to begin. Retain your breath. Don't stress or strain. Just hold. Exhale slow. Hold the breath out. Inhale. Exhale. This year has been very challenging, I think, for virtually everybody in one way or another. I've managed to keep a fairly good attitude through a lot of it, but to be completely frank, this week I had a complete breakdown. It was on Tuesday and kind of lasted until well, yesterday-ish. <laughs> Funny thing about these is they... You know, where, where does it begin? Where does it end? Eh, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. But, you know, whenever we... Sometimes we just have to, like, let it go, let it out. Just, you know, if we start to feel and start to have that, like, intense release. You know, I call it a, call it a breakdown. But breakdowns are also kind of breakthroughs because it's like you're letting go of a lot of emotion and it's getting that turmoil out of there. And it may feel bad at the time, but we got to feel. If we don't feel, then what are we doing with our lives? So... So we're going to start with just some slow, deep breathing, and this is to help you engage your diaphragm. As we inhale, you want to make sure that the first part of the breath goes and fills up the belly, and then your chest lifts. And as you exhale, consciously ex ex empty your 
rib or your lungs and let your rib cage contract and then pull your belly back towards your spine and just get that natural rhythm of the breath. Go ahead and close your eyes, bring your hands to your knees, palms up, your spine is erect. So whatever is comfortable, if you need to sit up on a chair, have back support, do what you need to do to find this space in a healthy way. We're going to inhale for a five count, hold for a five count, and exhale for a five count. And when you're holding, don't like squeeze off your airway, just stop and pause. It should be very gentle and relaxing. It's not a forceful thing. You know, we do do some forceful things in our practice, but today we're going to be soft. We're going to just accept and press into a practice. So inhale full fast through the nose. Exhale. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, exhale, Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Hold. Exhale, inhale, hold, exhale, inhale, hold. Exhale. Inhale. 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 
Hold. Exhale. Inhale fast. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. The, uh, when we hold the breath in or out, we really don't want to be, unless if we're told to squeeze things, we don't want to super squeeze. We want to be able to relax. We want to just be able to sit and accept being full or empty for a time and try to not react to the sensation and just really, really sit through it. The next little breath exercise we're going to do is retaining the breath in and out after slow and deep inhales. So we're, it's not gonna be time to just your own limit. So whenever you're holding the breath in, you should consciously puff your chest out a little bit and relax your shoulders. And this will just help you retain the breath without really panicking. And when you're holding the breath out, same deal. Relax your shoulders and just relax your chest. And don't stress or strain, just sit with it. You know, in time we learn to expand our holds on either direction and this helps us in our practice and it also helps with stress response which granted isn't always the easiest thing to not respond to is stress but you know that's why we're here to just obtain tools practice them and push through them so take your left hand and place it over your heart center your right hand will be on Gyan mudra so your forefinger touches your thumb tip lightly fingers pointing up just rest the arm by the side with the palm facing forward. So your elbow should be down by your rib cage, close to the side body. And just close your eyes. I want you to consciously inhale, expand the belly, let the chest expand and lift. Exhale, chest deflates. Belly deflates. Now inhale. Hold. And whenever you need to, just exhale slowly and hold the breath out. You want to work on extending your time if you have a steady practice with this when you're holding the breath out you can push a little bit more air out just by squeezing the diaphragm and this will trick your body and let you hold out a little bit more same way when you're inhaling and whenever you're holding the breath then just suck a little bit more air in and this will help you extend the time what we're doing yogically is intentionally triggering a stress response because whenever we're holding the breath out let's face it it kind of stresses us, but learning to not react to it, just sit with it and find peace in it with time.
Inhale deep. Exhale. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. One more. Just relax your hands, palms up on the knees. Four finger touches thumb tip. Just take a few breaths and notice where you're at right now in this moment. center of virtually any practice would be the breath. You look at dancing, you look at martial arts, you look at Pilates, Zumba. None of them are very functional without a very strong breath connection. In yoga, there's the most common breath is Ujjayi breath or ocean breath. And it's accomplished by doing a very slight constriction of the throat that causes a sort of hollow sound to come through. And it's just like... To exaggerate the sound a bit. And this breath gives you just a focal point. You know, they say ride your breath a lot of the times. And by that, it's just create that sound, focus on it, and let your awareness press into that. That way, the, the external stimuli or whatever your mad monkey mind is trying to say is, you know, at least sort of chilled out for the moment. <laughs> it's uh, not always easy, but it is definitely there. The best thing we can do for ourselves is find a little bit of time every day to just sit in silence and really process what we've been through, process where we need to go, just process our days. We don't give, you know, in the West, a lot of our relaxation is done with TV or video games or some sort of external stimuli. And like, yes, you may be relaxing, but your brain is still being stimulated. So we really don't have a chance to, you know, process emotions, process traumas, process and let things out. Instead, we're just bypassing. And the longer that you bypass and you bottle, eventually you just crack and then you explode. You know, many of us, we live most of our lives without ever really feeling, like, deeply. Just because we were so injured emotionally as children and so distracted that we just didn't get the tools. And it's really nobody's fault. It's just part of our culture escape. But that's why we are waking up and learning these things and having these experiences. So we're going to do some breath of fire, which breath of fire or bellows breath, Agni Pranayam, Bastrika breath, whatever you want to call it. It's an equal inhale and exhale through the nose and you're pumping your diaphragm with it, your uh, navel chakra or your uh, yeah, solar plexus. Um, so work on equality first with this breath. Don't worry about speed. You know, people who have practiced this a lot tend to be very swift with it, but it's not necessarily necessary to be fast. We work on equality, we get that rhythm, we get that steady pace, we find that balance, and then we'll increase the speed. You know, this is breath of fire, it moves a lot of energy, it's very good for focusing in a moment. And it's also good to wake you up. Like if you're driving long distances and you start to get tired, you can do this breath while you're driving and it will bring your energy up. So yes, it's an equal inhale, exhale through the nose. And as you inhale, your diaphragm is going to push out. And as you exhale, you're going to draw it back in. So just put your hand on your diaphragm, which is right underneath your sternum. If you don't have a steady practice with this, just bring a hand to the diaphragm, close your eyes and just inhale and feel it expand. Exhale, contract it. You know, your whole belly's probably gonna move with this. It's 
So just find that steady pace, maybe one second inhale, one second exhale, maybe two seconds. You know, don't worry about speed now. That'll come with practice. Just close your eyes. Soft internal gaze up towards the brow point, the third eye center, right in between your eyebrows at the top of your nose. Equal inhale to the exhale through the nose. Mentally vibrate sat on the inhale, nam on the exhale. This means truth is my identity. If you start to get out of whack, just take a grounding breath and reset. So full breath and then come back to the equal inhale to the exhale, breath of fire. Inhale, hold your breath. Exhale, hold your breath out. Inhale. Exhale, just a few breaths. Just notice your internal space here. Notice anything that's arising. Just don't bring too much attention to it now, unless if it demands it. Just sit in stillness. We're going to chant a few long homes into our heart space. And they say Anahata, the unstruck melody. It's a place where a lot of times whenever you're chanting a mantra, 
or even singing or anything. It's like you really feel it right here. So it's kind of ironic to me that the heart's chakra is the unstruck melody, but it's like you tend to feel those so deeply there. So bring your left hand over your heart center, right hand over left. Close your eyes. We're just going to do some long ohms. Go at your own pace and do each syllable, om, A-U-M. So it starts, om. Try to feel that distinction between the three syllables of om. Just do them long, and whenever you need to breathe, breathe, and just start again. Inhale. Soon. We will begin the practice of Antar Mauna. Or, I don't know how that second word really is pronounced. Antar Mauna, which the word Antar means inner. Mauna means silence, so inner silence. Exhale. Keep your hands on your heart. Inhale. Hold. So soon we'll begin Antar Mana. Let's do three long ohms. Left hand over heart, right hand over left. Exhale. Inhale to begin. your hands down. Just find an internal space. I'm going to do a little bit of reading here and a little bit from my mind. But through all of this, sit with this erect spine. Your chin should be parallel to the ground or tucked down a little bit and back. This helps straighten your cervical spine and protect your neck. If you have really tight low spine, really tight back or anything, you can do this practice laying down. You can do it sitting in a chair. You can do it with your back up against a wall. You just do whatever you got to do to really just feel the practice and just give yourself to it. So Antar Mauna, inner silence. We're going to practice 
getting in this space and staying in it. So close your eyes and for a moment just tune into your breath. Just notice again the depths of depth of your breath. Notice the space it creates on each inhale and the relax on each exhale. The practice of Antarmana is designed to turn around our continual external stimuli. So for at least a short period, we can see the workings of our mind and understand them. In reality, this is one of the few permanent sadhanas, which sadhana means discipline, spiritual discipline or daily practice, which can be practiced spontaneously all 24 hours of a day by anyone who is really determined to know themselves. You know, to really connect to your higher self and to find that internal stability and peace, you do have to sit in silence and you do have to get very comfortable with yourself. Otherwise, we just, you know, if we're constantly distracted, like we never really, like, we live up here, but we're not really connected to it. It's a really weird dichotomy. And so many of us live in this state of duality and it just crushes us to the soul of our being. And, we self-medicate, we do all kinds of things, and believe you me, I know all about self-medication and addiction. I spent most of my 20s locked into a fairly nasty hole. So this will help you understand the workings of your own rationale, rational and irrational minds. It'll give you understanding of what makes you tick. The technique is for meditational practice it's a first step towards attaining a permanent state of inner awareness. And this is very important, very important practice. So whatever you learn today, come back to it. And we will readdress this in the future. Because you know, the more you practice this, it just becomes, yes, a pretty permanent state. We have mad monkey minds. We got to learn to tame them. If we don't learn to tame them, they'll control our lives. And if they control our lives, like we're just reactive and we're more like animals. And we are animals, but we are animals with a weird degree of awareness. <laughs> so today we're just going to work with the awareness of the external stimuli and sort of tapping ourselves away from it. The practice of Antar Mana begins. Please close your eyes and keep them closed through this practice. Your asana or posture should be steady. Your eyes are closed and your spinal cord is erect. Mentally repeat to yourself, I am prepared for inner silence. I am prepared for inner silence. This should be the mood of your mind. This preliminary practice is not awareness of internal things, but awareness of the external sensual experiences, the different sounds, sensations, Go ahead and concentrate on these external sounds and sensations, not at all considering them to be disper disturbances in concentration. Just notice them. With absolute concentration, with total external awareness, do this practice until you find a change in atmosphere of your mind. Don't fight with your senses. Do not struggle with your sense expressions and sense experiences, but become aware, become the spectator of such. So just notice the birds chirping, the music, 
the low hum of your refrigerator, whatever sounds are there, hear them. Don't judge them. Don't, don't block them out. Just be aware. You should also awaken us, awaken the awareness of I am aware. I am hearing. I am aware that I am hearing Shirji speaking. In this way, the mind and the senses should be trained to become undisturbed by the sensual experiences. Do not let the sound dis disturb you. Do not let this touch disturb you. Nor the taste nor smells. Just be very aware. In spite of the fact that you are hearing the outer sounds, that you experience different sensations in your physical body, such as itching, laziness, scratching, and so on, you should not be disturbed by them. This is known as Pratyahara. It is a step towards obtaining Samadhi, which is no mind or enlightenment. Pratyahara is withdrawal from the senses, which doesn't mean they go away. It just means you learn to be the silent observer even as a tortoise withdraws its body within the framework of the shell. In the same manner, the senses should be withdrawn, not by force, but by a technique. The senses should be withdrawn from the respective objects of senses. The senses should be calmed down with an attitude of, I am witnessing the experience of hearing. I am aware of the sound, the music, and the birds. I is the third thing in the process. First comes the ears. Second, the object of experience, the sound, whatever it may be. Third is the I, the self, who is the spectator who is the witness of this process of sense experiences. Then in this way, you should distinctly and deeply, intensely with classification, develop this threefold awareness in this first stage of Antan Mona. The experiencer, the object of experience, and the seer of both. the subject and the object, the ears and the sound, the eyes and the form, the skin and the touch, the tongue and the taste, the nose and the smell. This should be witnessed properly without any sense of disturbance. This is the introversion of your sense experiences. And this you should do at any time. Not at all judging the outer experiences but looking at them with drashta bhava, with the attitude of a witness. Seeing yourself from the outside looking in and the inside looking out. 
You will find within a few moments there is an atmosphere of calm, tranquility, and peace. And then you will be ready for meditation. This is your homework. Become the observer. Please practice this whenever you can. Do not wait for calmness and silence. Find it within you. There will be noise. There will be disturbances. The body will shake, but you must develop the dharma of a calm and silent witness. Come back to the ujjayi breath, the ocean breath. Just create that hollow sound in your throat. The sensation is similar to sucking air through a straw in your throat. It's a slight internal constriction creating the sound of the ocean within you. Before we part ways today, we're going to do a little bit more mantra work. The mantra is Ong Sung Wahe Guru. Ong Sung Wahe Guru. It's A N G S A N G Wahe Guru. And it's essentially every cell within me vibrates with the creative energy of the universe. Bring your left hand over heart, right hand over left. And just internally look down at the heart space. See a light appear there. And as we chant this mantra, see the light expand and grow and start to surround your being. It's Ang Sung Wahe Guru. Inhale to begin. Ang Sung Wahe Guru. Ang Sung. Oh. 
Song Song your hands down and again become the conscious observer, a heightened awareness of yourself. Bring your palms together, rub them, feel the heat moving to your hands, press the base of your thumbs against your heart center, take a deep inhale through the nose, exhale, inhale, we'll do three long satnams, three long ohms. Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam bright and beautiful and your mind be clear and stable as the external world comes to pull you from your center may you find your balance and your steps be very steady thank you for joining me on this beautiful morning and i hope to see many of you again satnam namaste
you appreciate this video, if you could donate, subscribe, do whatever you can to support me, it'd be great. We're meeting a challenging time, <laughs> to say the least. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, reach out. I am here. You can find my email and my phone number online in many places. Throughbreath.com is the website. If you have any things you would like me to teach, any offerings, any times of the days, the weeks, just let me know. I am a water off a duck's back. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I love you all. May you learn to bring your stress levels down and be very secure as you walk your path. Thank you so much for joining me and may you have a beautiful rest of your time here. Satnam. Namaste.